I'm Lemmy 2 Corey Broad, a military working dog handler from Naval Air Station Siganella. I've been dog handler for two years. As far as your job, your job is stated pretty clearly, and there's, you know, there is a reason why you are downrange, uh, specifically with your dog, and that's to either find drugs or find explosives. I'm MA3 Canada. I'm a military working dog handler at Naval Air Station Siganella. I've been in the Navy four and a half years. I would say the best part of my job on deployment would be going out and being able to potentially save a life. Every mission you come back on and everyone makes it back, it's probably the most rewarding time when you know that everything went fine that day. It's just you and your dog. So you mess up in Afghanistan, it could cost somebody their life. The weight of responsibility that falls on you is probably the most challenging. It's impossible not to bond with that animal. In fact, a, uh, you know, rapport and bond building is, a, is extremely important to be a good team and an effective team in the military working dog community. I love working military working dogs. It's the best job in the Navy. When you're living in a tent and the dog is around you at all times, they definitely grow on you. I know they say that military working dogs are tools, but at the same time, it's a dog. So they want love as much as a pet would. You know, downrange, it's extremely hard to tell someone, you know, you can't touch my dog. You know, you never know what happened to that person a week ago or days prior. And the only thing, like I said, they, they can relate to is that animal. It's that little bit of sunshine in a, in a gloomy day, you know. So I always let them play with my dog, love them up. And Freddie loved it too. So things like that, it, it makes you feel good because you're making a difference not only with safety, but with morale. Hamming right now, Fred. We're hamming right now. Come on, boys. Come on.